Okay, so we're at the complete athlete and we're gonna go over our anchor exercise. Basically, this is just an extension of our draw-in technique. And so remember, the draw-in means we're pressing the back hard against the floor, pulling the hips in, not working from the shoulders down specifically. So right now, Tim is pressing his back into the floor using that draw-in technique. He's gonna pick one foot up so that his knee and his hip are both at a right angle. So pull that right foot up. And now from here, he's gonna reach out with his foot almost to the floor and then come back. The movement pattern's pretty simple. The hard thing about this one is that the closer to the floor you get with that leg, the harder it is to keep your back pressed against the floor. So you lose leverage, you gotta push harder with that draw-in technique. Now if this is easy, we're gonna try the raised anchor, which is essentially the same thing without that opposite foot on the floor. So you're still only moving one foot at a time, and you'll alternate each time. You're still keeping your back pressed against the floor, it's just we don't have that anchor lowered to the floor. If this is easy, we can try the next difficult one, which is the double, and you can see both legs go out. You have to keep your back pressed into the floor. Don't just jump into this one and reach your heels all the way to the floor and call it a day. If your back starts to lift, you can shorten it up if you need to, and then work your way down as you get stronger.